Hey kindergarten, so today we are going to be describing some objects by their attributes and figuring out which of these attributes can be measured. So we're going to start off down here with number one. So we have pencil and we need to figure out whether we can measure the pencil's length, its weight, or its capacity. So we can definitely measure the length of the pencil. So I'm gonna go ahead and circle that. And we can definitely measure as well how much the pencil weighs. So I'm circling this one. But we can't really measure a pencil's capacity. So I'm gonna put an X through that right there. Okay, so we have a few more examples down here, and we just have to put a circle around the attributes that can be measured. So here we have, I think is a bucket or a trash can. So can we measure its length? Well, yeah, we can. So I'm going to circle it. What about its weight? Yeah, we can measure its weight as well. I mean, it might be too big to fit on some scales like this, but we can definitely measure the weight. And then what about the capacity? Yep, we can measure that too. Because it's hollow, there's nothing inside it, so we could fill this up and see how much it holds. be water, some other kind of liquid, but because it's hollow, we could definitely measure its capacity. So I circled length, weight, and capacity for this one. Okay, moving down. So here, could we measure this object's length? Yep, we could definitely measure the length. What about the weight? Yep, this is a glue stick, we could definitely measure the weight of the glue stick. But since it has glue in it already, it is not hollow, it's already filled, so we could not measure its capacity. So I'm going to put an X through that there. Okay, here we have a jar. Could we measure the jar's length? Yeah, we could measure its length or height, so I'm going to go ahead and circle this one. We could also measure its weight. And because if we take the lid off, it should be empty inside, we could also measure the jar's capacity, how much it can hold. Okay, number five, we have a ruler. So could we measure a ruler's length? Yeah, 100% we could. And it also should tell us on the ruler most of the time how long that is. So I'm going to circle that. We could also measure the ruler's weight. But couldn't measure its capacity because there's nothing to fill it with. It's a solid object. Okay, nice job, turning the page. We have an apple at the top here. So could I measure an apple's length? I mean, that might be a little bit tricky, wouldn't be as easy as some of the other ones, but I definitely could measure the length using the cubes. We could weigh the apple as well on the scales to find out how heavy it is. But its capacity, 
we could not measure because it is a solid object. Okay, moving down to number seven, we've got a mug. We could measure the length or the height of the mug. We could definitely measure the weight. And because this mug can be filled up, we can also measure the capacity. So how much water or any other liquid could we get in this cup? Do all three get circled for number seven. In number eight, we have a crayon. Could we measure the crayon's length? Yeah. I'm going to circle that. We could also measure its weight. But because it is a solid object, we can't fill it up, so therefore we cannot measure its capacity. So I'm going to go ahead and put an X through there. Okay, so number nine says, have students identify the attribute that could be measured using the tool on the left? So what is this tool right here? Okay, so if you said a measuring scale, you are correct. But what does a measuring scale weigh? Well, it tells us an object's weight. So what I want you to do is draw two objects in this space here that could be measured with these scales by weight. All right, kindergarten, great job today, and I will see you next time.